I'm Brittany Lewis with Forbes Breaking News. On Tuesday, Education Secretary Miguel Cardona gave an emotional opening statement before the Senate Appropriations Committee. Cardona spoke about attending the wakes of the Uvalde Elementary School shooting victims. The secretary said, quote, between tears, they asked for help. So today, respectfully, I ask us to do something. He then read the names of the 21 victims. Here's more from the Education Secretary. Thank you, uh, Chair Murray, Ranking Member Blunt, and members of this distinguished uh, subcommittee. Good morning, and uh, again, thank you uh, for having this hearing today. While I will focus on the budget and the priorities of the Department of Education, I must start by sharing that together we must meet this moment. After attending the wakes of four mur murdered children and attending the funeral of a teacher, Irma Garcia, who died protecting her students, and her husband, Joe, who died of a broken heart. I spoke with teachers from Robb Elementary School in Uvalde, Texas. In between tears, they asked for help. They asked that we see what they're experiencing so that we could do everything in our power to help them and the millions of students and educators we serve across the country. So today, respectfully, I ask us to do something. Our teachers and educators did everything we asked of them these last two years. Now we must listen to them and act. For the last two years, with greater risks to their own lives, our students and teachers rose to the moment and safely returned to school despite fears and the risks that were associated with it. Now we must do the same. We must rise to the moment despite whatever fears may exist to support our students and our teachers. On May 24th, the following school children and teachers were murdered in one of our schools. Irma Garcia, Eva Mireles, McKenna Lee Alrad, Leila Salazar, Miranda Mathis, Nevea Bravo, Jose Manuel Flores Jr., Javier Lopez, Tess Marie Mata, Rogelio Torres, Eliana Eli, Amaya Garcia, Eliana Torres, Annabel Guadalupe Rodriguez, Jackie Casares, Zaya Garcia, Jace Carmelo Luevanos, Maite Juliana Rodriguez, Jayla Nicole Silguero, Amory Joe Garza, Alexandria Lexi Ania Rubio, Alicia Ramirez. We must say their names as we remember the responsibility that we have. Americans are looking to us to solve difficult problems. We should be humbled by this opportunity to make a more perfect union. We need to do better. Our kids deserve better. Let's find a path forward. Before I start, I want to thank you for confirming key education department positions. We're eagerly awaiting confirmation of additional nominees so that the department can continue its critical work on behalf of students, families, and educators. Today's hearing is about more than the president's proposed investments for education in the fiscal year 2023. It's about the needs of our students and how we can meet them if we work together. The priorities in this budget reflect what I've learned during visits to 33 states across America in my conversations with students, with parents, educators, and leaders in small towns and affluent suburbs and urban and rural communities, including our tribal communities. Addressing opportunity and achievement gaps that were made worse in the pandemic is more important than ever. This budget focuses on this by investing in our Title I schools and investing in full-service community schools, which provide high-poverty communities with easier access to services for health and nutrition, enrichment, education, uh, adult education, and much more. 
Let's also invest a billion dollars in hiring staff to support the growing mental health needs. Students are six times more likely to access mental health supports in schools versus community settings. To address the teacher shortage crisis, let's invest an additional $350 million for recruiting and retaining teachers. I've traveled the country listening to parents. They share their concern with recovery. They're concerned with their kids reading, grade, reading at grade level. And they're concerned with getting back to school, not letting politics and division get into the classroom. Let's work together. The American Rescue Plan got us this far. We went from 46% of our schools fully open at the beginning of the Biden-Harris administration to over 99% today. With your investments, let's build more inclusive, affordable pathways to higher education and rewarding careers for all of our students. Let's increase Pell by $1,775 for fiscal year 2023 so more kids can get to college. Our budget also calls for investments in community college, historically black colleges, universities, Hispanic serving institutions, tribal colleges, and other inclusive institutions. We're proposing $200 million for career-connected learning so more underserved students graduate high school with industry credentials and college credits. Our high school graduates need more options. Look, education gave me the tools to achieve the American dream. I grew up in a blue-collar community. I only had what my public schools offered. I attended a Title I school and graduated from a technical high school. I became a first-generation college student. I'm a bilingual certified educator who benefited from quality teacher preparation programming and good professional development. I'm a product of the investments in this budget. Education brought me the promise of this country. It made it alive for me. We must renew that promise for today's students and those to come. For the last two years, we were tested in ways we could never imagine. Through intentional collaboration and strong leadership, we persevered. As this moment requires even more of us, we must lead with an even greater sense of urgency. Our students are watching. Let's not let, it, let them down. Thank you.